Isn't this every young man's dream? Ladies and gentlemen, Franz Ferdinand. So that was uh, Take Me Out, obviously, but that look, what a gig that was. How many people were there, do you, do you know? Oh, quite a few thousand, wasn't there? 40,000, I think. 40 thousand, yeah. yeah. It was amazing, that was... Yeah, fantastic. Well, you look... You're going to lose your Pop Stars Union card, cos you look happy. Oh, yeah, I couldn't stop grinning throughout the whole thing, like, just looking at all those people jumping up and down like that, just like... And Pop Stars are that, supposed yeah. to be sort of sullen, aren't they, and a bit... Are they? Yeah, yeah tortured. Yeah. <laughs> uh, sometimes they are, but that's, that's a bit boring, isn't it? Yeah. Now, can I just... Uh, so, uh, now, Alex, you're the singer. Yeah. Bob, you play bass. That's right. Nick, you're the guitarist. Yeah, I was looking at him. <laughs> <laughs> and Paul, you're the drummer. That's right. Yeah. Now, you won the Mercury Award, and uh, the album, which... Uh, there's no point in plugging this, cos I think everybody's got one. <laughs> but that's the album, and you suddenly became... Look, it said... This is, this is the cover of the, the NME, look. This band will change your life. <laughs> Not a very tough act to follow at all, actually. <laughs> no. And uh, they called the album... Uh, an art pop masterpiece at the Mercury's. What do you make of all this? Do you just get up every morning and go, come on? Yeah. <laughs> In a slightly Scottish accent. Yeah, no, no, just try not to think about it too much, you know, like, cos I think, I think with old bands, there's quite a lot of hyperbole and, like, people talking about you and, and making up stories about you and saying you're a great this or a rotten that and just, yeah, try to ignore it. Now, you, there is some Franz Ferdinand merchandise because these... <laughs> <laughs> this is rock and roll, isn't it? <laughs> now, these are, they're quite small for um, wide fronts. They were intended for girls, actually, but... Uh, yeah. if, uh... <laughs> are you serious? They, they, they were, that's right, yeah. I, I find they're a bit... A bit tight. Yeah. They are a bit tight. <laughs> yes. I'm serious. <laughs> I'm wearing some as we speak. So am I. Yeah, are you wearing some? <laughs> no, I'm not. No, but I am. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think you have to prove well, to everybody. I, I'm like, prepared, oh, if it's all right, right with you guys. Great. This is rock and roll, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> this is a plug for the album, if ever yeah. there was one. Now... God, it won't quite fasten. Um, Yes. Now, obviously, it's a lot bigger than that, but th these are so small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah my testicles are just past my lungs. <laughs> now, the red ones are particularly small, actually. These are... These, they're... Yeah, honestly, you could, you could slice cheese with these. <laughs> you say I must stink. Uh, no, no, they must sting. Oh, they do say, sting, yeah. right, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Thank I you. I thought, stink, you'd, I thought you'd right? caught some vapour no, no, there. No, no, <laughs> Well, I, I wear them with pride. I did think they were for blokes. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll notice I've actually yeah. dotted the eye on the Franz Ferdinand. Oh, did you? Yes, <laughs> not deliberately. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, you know what I'm like. <laughs> now, is it true that you've written a Scottish World Cup song, or is that a myth? Oh, yeah, we did. L l last time we did Top of the Pops, uh, we were playing live, so we had to do lots of sound checks, and we were hanging about in the studio for a long time. And we started jamming, and we came up with a really, really, really catchy riff. And uh, it only had three notes in it, and we were looking for one word, and, well, Scotland seemed to be the word which seemed most appropriate. And we, and we thought it'd be perfect for a, a kind of football song because it's dead easy to sing. So is there just... It, the words are Scotland? The, yeah, the, the word. <laughs> right, OK. <laughs> the word is Scotland, yeah. Right. So how does it sort of go? Na, 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 na. Na 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 na. Scot Scotland. <laughs> oh, I got it. <laughs> I know I shouldn't sing that, but this is probably my favourite Franz Ferdinand song. Um, this is uh, this is Michael. <laughs> Oh, 
Now, I understand that's about a friend of yours who's a straight guy at a one-night homosexual stand. A one-night homosexual stand sounds like a thing that you hang homosexuals on. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know if there is such an object. <laughs> so, um, that's a, that is what it's about? Yeah. It's... Now, did, did you ask his permission before you... Uh, no, we didn't, which is probably... Well, we didn't think so many people would hear it, so for a start, when we wrote it, it was just like, oh, I remember that thing that happened with Michael the other night, let's write a song about that, and didn't think that a couple of million people would be listening to it in their rooms. <laughs> and when did he sort of suss out the fact you'd written about his homosexual one-night stand? It was, it was the next gig that we did, and we went, this one's about you, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody went... <laughs> <laughs> now, you're going to do a number for us tonight, um, which I understand is it's kind of its world premiere. It is the first time we've played it as it is just now, because we've been uh, writing it over the last week or so. Because we, we knew we were playing on the show tonight, we thought, let's do a new song, so let's write a new song for the show. Well, look, it's, it's all been a bit phenomenal, but it is earned. It's a cracking album, and uh, I look forward to hearing the second one. I look forward to hearing the new one tonight. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Franz Ferdinand. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers.